the boy who thought he was a teddy bear. Once there was a little boy who thought he was a teddy bear. The fairies found him in the woods in his carriage when he was a baby. They took him to their friends, the three bears, who were having a picnic nearby. Where's his mother, wondered Big Teddy. Where's his father, wondered Middle Teddy. I can't see them anywhere, said Little Teddy. So, thinking the baby was all alone in the world, they carried him back to their cottage. When they got home, the baby began to cry. He's hungry. Let's give him some sawdust, said Big Teddy. He's thirsty. Let's give him some pond water, said Middle Teddy. He's lonely. Let's give him a name, said Little Teddy. They didn't know any people names, so they gave him Teddy names instead. I shall call him Pinky because he's pink, said Big Teddy. I shall call him Blinky because he blinks, said Middle Teddy. And I shall call him Dinky, said Little Teddy, because he's so little. The teddy bears weren't sure what to do with the boy the fairies had found. I think we should take him to the police, said Big Teddy. I think we should take him to the doctor, said Middle Teddy. I think we should take him to bed with me, said Little Teddy. Little Teddy got into bed and cuddled the baby. The boy smiled and fell fast asleep. The days turned into weeks, the weeks turned into months. And all this time, the three bears looked after Pinky Blinky Dinky. He walked like a teddy. He growled like a teddy. He could even swivel his legs all the way around, almost. He slept in cupboards. He sat on shelves. He went to special picnics in the woods. He even dressed like a teddy. He tied a red ribbon around his neck and an enormous bow in front. And of course, he was very cuddly. Pinky Blinky Dinky truly believed he was a teddy bear. We have to tell him the truth, said Big Teddy. It might upset him, said Middle Teddy. He'll find out soon enough, said Little Teddy. And so he did. One day there was a knock at the door. It was Pinky's mother. I've been searching everywhere for my son, she said. The fairies brought me here. The fairies brought him to us, said Big Teddy, because they thought he was lost, said Middle Teddy. But now he's found, said Little Teddy. And sure enough, there was Plink, Pinky Blinky Dinky lying with his legs in the air, upside down on the teddy bear's sofa. Edward, cried his mother, my little boy. What's a boy, asked Pinky. His mother tried to explain. But I don't want to be a boy, he said. I want to be a teddy bear. I want to hide in cupboards and go on picnics and play in the woods with my friends. Boys are allowed to do those things too, said his mother. But boys are allowed to have, are boys allowed to have cuddles, he asked. Oh yes, said his mother, and she gave him the biggest bear hug he'd ever had. I wish I could have a hug like that, sighed Big Teddy. So do I, said Middle Teddy. Me too, said Little Teddy. 
Come here then, said Mom, and she cuddled every one of them all the way home.